How about Chicago? Look at this. We're talking cooler temperatures. In fact, mid 80s for the weekend, all into next week as well. I'm gonna have to take it up there to escape some of this heat. We're tracking freezing rain that's moving into central Texas now. And freezing rain, it could be sometimes the most vulnerable type of winter weather. And that's because temperatures at the surface, they are near freezing. But then you go just a couple thousand feet up and it's all above freezing. So that's why that snow that falls from the cloud melts as rain and then eventually refreezes on contact. The hurricane flags are now up because it is Hurricane Laura as we continue to track that for you. In fact, it is on the verge of being a major hurricane while it was here because temperatures were warm and we've got it again today. Still chilly start this morning though. Have the layers on, but then break out the short sleeves once again this afternoon. Kids get home 77 degrees and it is still raining in parts of the Carolinas. They could still see several inches, but 30 inches. I mean, can you imagine that? That is enough to flood the first floor of most homes and like this large truck back here. I mean, that's going to float large vehicles too. Check out our eagle eye camera over Baylor University. It's a cold one out there. We've got steam coming up the top of buildings and that's because temperatures. Yeah, we're below freezing. Let's say we have a 20 mile per hour wind. That wind chill will drop to about minus 22 because that wind is what evaporates that thin layer of moisture off of your skin. So the skin temperature drops and that's what makes it feel much colder outside. Your Thanksgiving forecast things in Dallas looking really nice, mild and dry with mostly sunny skies, high of 72 degrees. A little farther south on I-35, down to Austin. We're close to 80 degrees now with upper 70s, increasing clouds throughout the day. We're talking about variations in height. Now those can actually range from 16,000 feet to 20,000 feet. Why is that important? We call that Virga, where it's basically that dry slot from the clouds to the ground. And that's what causes that rain to evaporate 50 degrees. So depending on where you are, might depend on how many layers you want to have on this morning, but still take a couple with you because even throughout the day, north winds, that keeps temperatures on the chilly side. Now you might actually have to travel just a little bit outside of Central Texas. Garner State Park on Sunday expecting 80 degrees. That's when the clouds start to form and it kind of acts like a blanket, traps a lot of that daytime surface heating versus during clear nights, all that daytime surface heating can escape back into space. Inside temperatures in 30 minutes, 129 degrees. This is why it can turn deadly for your pets and your kids. In terms of the storm threats, we're not expecting much in the way of severe weather, but there could be a couple strong thunderstorms that produce some of those 60 mile an hour winds. So with that freezing rain today, again, that can lead to very hazardous conditions like this Beamer I-8 and that semi truck. We want to avoid as much of that as possible. Besides the chocolate that's inside the box here, we've also got a forecast that you're going to love and here's what it looks like for the evening of Valentine's Day. Yeah, and if being a Griswold this time of the year is kind of your thing, we've oh, got yes. some nice weather to do that. <laughs> so this is how we can social distance with our trick or treaters. Just put your little Whose bags idea out. Was that? That's a fantastic a idea. PVC pipe. And as Baylor takes on UT and Austin tomorrow, it's still going to be a little cool out there in the mid 60s for kickoff at 2:30 in the afternoon. This Kick it to me, baby. Kick it week. to me. Here we go, Joe. Do it. Do it. And there it goes. Oh, oh good. <laughs> so good. Over to me now. Oh, oh, Over to me. Oh. There we go.